I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I let go, let go I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah But a little bit inside, you know, you know Maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the So whilst we were waiting for makeup and hair to be done and we had also waited for the psych wall to dry up, we now decided to start setting up our lights and we were doing this so we can save time or even while away time so that when our subject is ready, we're not now going to waste even more time now trying to set up and doing some tests and stuff like that. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. Before we go more in depth about the lighting setup and you know all that detail, I just want to quickly talk about my digital store. So on my digital store, I have some freebies on there, like there's a free raw file, there's a free melanin action that you can use to color grade your dark skin tones. And I also have the paid one. I have my melanin skin tone lights that are amazing. People are really, really, really giving me good feedback about it. So if you don't have it, you can copy um, link down below. And then I also have my workflow actions that's going to help you create a system for retouching because sometimes Photoshop again is very very daunting and there's so many ways of doing things inside Photoshop and if you don't want to add that to your headache then my workflow actions are going to be great for you because I have two actions in there where that's the first one that's going to create all the layers that you need for retouching and so you don't need to worry about what to create at what point in time it's going to do all of that for you and then I also have the individual actions which is also included and you can pick and choose what to run at any point in time if you want to maybe create a dodge layer you can do that easily if you just want to create a color grading layer you can do that easily with those actions so feel free explore around on my digital store and uh, buy something to support your boy so talking about my light setup and modifiers I decided to do two lights for this shoot based on the mood board I had seen from the client so I knew that they wanted a very soft they wanted shadowless um, kind of images and I knew that choosing the 120cm would give me a good balance of like a large light source and still adding contrast whilst just adding a tiny bit of shadow to create depth but not one that is going to be visible and distracting because 120cm is relatively large and I also decided to go with the photo box soft box because of how shallow it is it is not as deep as the deep parabolics that I have and so I knew that this is going to spread light a little bit more and it's also going to retain a bit of contrast and that is one thing I love about this photo box and then I also added a second light which is my Godox 8200 and I only modified that with a seven inch cone and the reason why I did that is because I was not going to use it as a rim light I was going to use it as a backlight just to throw more light onto my backdrop because the space between my subject and the backdrop and including the way I had positioned the main light I knew that there wasn't going to be a lot of light hitting the backdrop and I wanted to dedicate that light just to light up the backdrop and just lift up the shadows and make it a little bit brighter so that we again are contributing to the fact that we're not adding a lot of shadows to our images so I decided to use my flashpoint 400 pro as my main light source because I knew that the way I was going to be positioning the light I wanted a stronger light rather than the backlight right so I used the 200 for the backlight because I didn't want a lot of light and I knew that the cone is going to spread a light everywhere but with my main light and the way I was positioning it I knew that I was going to be wasting or washing away a lot of the light and so I went with something a little bit more powerful like the 400 so that it can keep up with the amount of light spill that is going away and that feathered light is what I'm going to be using to light up my subject. 
but I did not necessarily waste all of that light. I added in a reflector and that reflector is angled at such a way that all that light that is going to be traveling across my subject, right? So if this is my main light source, which I am feathering away and we have a lot of this wash of light just going across my subject, right? I have my reflector positioned a little bit more towards me so that when this light travels and hits the reflector, it's going to come back and then light my subject up. So that was the basic principle that I used for this and it did a very good job. I used a silver side of the reflector and that reflector is also quite huge so you can get a lot of illumination from top to bottom because majority of the shots that we were capturing were like full body shots and using a reflector that big ensures that you're going to get um, even illumination from top all the way to bottom because that light that is traveling from your main light source by the time it hits it it's already spread out become a large light source and by the time it bounces off that silver side and go back it's going to be even bigger and then it's going to end up reducing a lot of the shadows that you find in your images. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. That's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, don't ever give up.